Bless God, everybody. It's a great day to have a great day. As I was waking up and transitioning out of some wonderful rest that uh, so much needed, the Lord dropped a thought into my spirit. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. You ever been driving around and you look into the rear view mirror and uh, if you notice on the right side of the mirror, there's a little phrase and it says, objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Meaning the physical distance of what you see behind you is closer to you in actuality than as it appears in the mirror. And uh, I began to think about that and God started showing me. And I don't know who this is for, but for somebody, your blessing is closer to you than it appears to be. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. And uh, when, when we're following the word of God, the Bible says that the word of God is the perfect law it's like a mirror. God's word is like a mirror. And when we look into the mirror of God's word, we see who we are. We see what God has for us. God will reveal blessings to us. God will show us what he wants to do. And it comes through God's word. It comes through the mirror of God's word. And so in faith, we begin to pursue that. We begin to obey the word of God and do what God says. And in doing so, Sometimes it feels like walking in faith in obedience to the word of God is taking us further and further away from the blessing that God has shown to us. And we're looking in the rearview mirror and it feels like the blessing is further away. It looks like we're traveling away from where we're going. But God sent me to say, objects in mirror are closer than they appear. Your blessing is closer than you think it is. Your breakthrough is closer than you think it is. The thing that you've been praying for is closer than you think it is. Even though it feels like you're going in the opposite direction, even though it feels like you're doing everything you know to do to come into obedience with the word of God, your blessing is closer. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. God is working on your behalf. Now, the Bible tells us a couple of things about this theme and this idea. I have lost my notes. Praise God. In uh, the book of James, James talks about looking into the perfect law of liberty and a man looking into the law, beholding his face, walking away, forgetting what he looks like because he's admonishing us to be doers of the word and not just hearers of the word. We can't just hear what God is saying. We can't just be entertained with what the spirit is saying. We have to apply it. And in applying it, it often looks like this obedience is carrying me further away. I'm, I'm further away from where I'm supposed to be because I'm doing what God has told me to do. Objects in mirror are closer than they appear. The word of God to you is closer than it seems to be. Don't give up. Don't stop moving forward. Don't pull over on the side of the road. <laughs> Don't park. Keep pressing forward. Press toward the mark of the prize. Keep pushing. Ooh, the Bible tells us, remember in the book of Psalms, the psalmist writes at the end of the 23rd Psalm, that goodness and mercy follow me. Goodness and mercy has been following you. The blessing that you've been praying for has been following you. And it seems like the more you try to obey God's word, the further away you're getting from it. But the blessing of God is following you. Your breakthrough is following you. The strength that you need is following you. The hope you're looking for is following you. The faith that you're looking for is following you. The thing that you've been praying for is following you. Goodness and mercy are following you. And looking in a rearview mirror, it seems like things are further away than they are. But objects in mirror are closer than they appear. You are going to apprehend it. This is just to 
encourage somebody out there that's on the fringe of giving up, that's on the verge of quitting, it's on the verge of pulling over and just saying, you know what, man, I've been believing God for this and I've been hoping God to do this and I'm, I'm tired, I'm going to park, I'm going to pull over, I'm just going to stop, don't do it. Keep on pushing, keep on believing, hold on to God's word because things are closer to happening than you think they really are. God sent me to remind somebody about that. Uh, be strengthened, be encouraged. Don't be weary in well-doing, but let the joy of the Lord be your strength and rejoice in the word of God and hold it dear to your heart. God bless you. May the Lord keep you and give you favor. May grace be multiplied to you in achieving all that God has for you. In Jesus' name.